Hi, I'm Jun, and welcome back to the ASP.NET MVC and NTT framework by Example Project. And we will continue with the Jun VF Shop project. Today, we will continue with the day 9 by updating related data with the NTT framework and MVC. Okay, so we will work on the new management module. Okay, so now I will open the Microsoft SQL Server menu to see the diagram for the new table. Okay, so you can see here the new table currently have the relationship with the user. It means uh, the, the user will be the owner of any news. And, and one user can create many news. Okay, so we can do the same thing for product. However, you can really have a lot of relationship with other table. So I will use the news and the user table to, to show the demo. Okay, so now open the Visual Studio. And this one is the code. And currently we have the new the news uh, controller. And now I go ahead to create a new management controller to create, update, delete, and view the detail of news. Okay. Uh, we are going to create a management modules for news. First, we go to create a controller for new management. Okay, so don't select the MEC file controller MC as we this for in other tutorial. So now you select to the MEC file controller with view using FTP framework. So if you select this RG option, the Visual Studio will automatically create the view controller uh, by on the model you select this. And uh, you no need to create the view by memory. Okay, going to add button. We select the class. Class is news. We change the name here the management controller. Okay, so click to add button. And we have to wait a few seconds to to the to the system creating the view and controller. Okay. It already created the view uh, sorry the controller for new management. It has the index, detail, grade, grade report, edit, edit report, delete the same thing we need to put. It automatically creates the owner methods and we did in other pre previous video. Okay, so now come back to view the view. It creates five view here. The index, create, delete, detail, and edit. Okay. Now let's try to view the project. Okay, and now open the web browser and access to the website and then go to new management space. Okay, so you can see here we have a lot of news with the 
listed on the page and a list uh, this one is a uh, index and this one is great and it detail and delete feature okay so all of the feature for news management already work and now let's see the link here you can see we have the status it is display one and zero so one means the one means the this record is active and otherwise zero mean in active so now we should update the uh, view cost to change one to two and uh, or we can change one to active and zero to inactive okay so let's open the visual studio and go to the index page Scroll down. Do you, we have status here. Command code. We have item. Those status. One. Set and refresh the browser. Yeah, you can see the number already changed to the text. It took better. Okay, so now we go through the create new paste okay so we can see the ID oh okay so we can see status here it is the number okay so let's try to uh, insert a new one Okay, so you can see the new records added here. We can edit and change it to zero. If you change to inactive. Okay. I should go to the great new page first. So if we keep the status e one or zero here, so it will make the confusion for user. So we should to check it is of using the number, so we should change it to the text. It will display the active and inactive for status. So now we should edit the view for thread. Scroll down. We have status here. Command the code. And we have to create a list for status. We have to list select select list item. We have list item and uh, and we have to create a new instance for it. List item at select 
So we have a spike for a kid and the blue equals one. We so I have to have another one. Oh sorry. zero and we have a uh, after that we have to call HTML so down is for Can also add the uh, default selected value e uh, two e uh, Okay, try to refresh the page. Okay, and great, great, great new. Mm. We have a redundant character. Okay. Okay, so now you can see we have the default selected value for status e active. And we have another e inactive and default tag is select status. Okay, so now I will go ahead to create a new one for testing the new value for status. Okay, you can see here I did create another one for inactive. Inactive, yes, it book file. So now edit. So we can copy the code, the same code we are using for create to edit okay we'll have to copy Refresh. Okay, back to lead. And you can see for now the status is inactive. And now click to edit. It is inactive. And it is active. Active. Okay, so. Yeah, change data to inactive.
Ok Book 5 So You can For example you can uh, uh, On this list we, we saw we don't have the Betting feature designation feature on this page so you can follow the another video tutorial in other days to implement the padding for this one and also implement the feature for delete on this page not direct user to another page for it perform this action okay so now we go ahead to grab the menu for the pet. Controller name in new management. Okay. Many color. Many by two minutes. New management. Okay, so after complete this video today, you know how to update the related data with the ATT framework and MPC. And you know how to, in this tutorial, I show you how to update the data with the related data for news management module. So you can follow this tutorial and apply for another table with the very very many uh, relationship with another table okay so i hope this tutorial will be will helpful for you guys and see you in the next tutorial for ASP.NET and MVC learning with entity framework by example project and GNVS soft project is coming with another tutorial bye bye and see you in the next one